years ago, the NBA was quite a spectacle. The sound of sneakers squeaking on the hardwood was a signal of a fast break or a crossover move that would leave defenders in the dust. The roar of the crowd cheering for their favorite players and teams was the show of passion the public had for basketball. The NBA of the past was the site of legends in action. Players like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and Kobe Bryant didn't just play basketball, they put on a show. But now, when we look at the NBA, it's not exciting anymore. The game seemed to lack the same level of excitement and intensity that once defined the league. So, what has changed? But before we get in, take a moment to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. In the past, the NBA was characterized by powerhouse teams that not only dominated the regular season, but also made the playoffs incredibly thrilling to watch. Teams like the Chicago Bulls, Los Angeles Lakers, and Boston Celtics were not only dominant, but also had intense rivalries that added to the excitement of the postseason. The Chicago Bulls, led by Michael Jordan, were one of the most dominant teams in NBA history. Jordan, along with Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman, led the Bulls to six NBA championships in the 1990s, creating a dynasty that is still revered to this day. Their battles with teams like the Detroit Pistons and New York Knicks were legendary, and each playoff series was filled with drama and intensity. Similarly, the Los Angeles Lakers, led by Magic Johnson and later Kobe Bryant, were a dominant force in the NBA for many years. Johnson led the Lakers to five NBA championships in the 1980s, while Bryant led them to five championships in the 2000s. The Boston Celtics, led by Larry Bird, were another powerhouse team in the 1980s. Bird, along with Kevin McHale and Robert Parrish, led the Celtics to three NBA championships in the decade and were known for their intense rivalry with the Lakers. The Celtics-Lakers rivalry was renewed in the 2000s when the two teams met twice in the NBA Finals adding another chapter to their storied history. However, in recent years, there has been a trend towards super teams where a few franchises assemble multiple star players, creating an imbalance in competition. Teams like the Golden State Warriors with Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green, or the Miami Heat with LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh have dominated the league, making it predictable and less thrilling for some viewers. These super teams have been able to attract top talent through free agency and trades, creating a situation where a few teams are significantly better than the rest of the league. While this has led to some incredible basketball being played with high scoring games and highlight reel plays, it has also led to criticism that the league has become too top heavy and lacks the parity that made it so exciting in the past. Another factor contributing to the perceived boredom of the NBA playoffs is the evolution of playstyle and pace. In the past, NBA games were often characterized by a more physical style of play, with teams relying heavily on defense and strategic plays to win games. This style of play led to more closely contested games, especially in the playoffs, where every possession mattered. Teams would often grind out wins through tough defense, low-scoring affairs, and executing plays in the half court. One of the key elements of this era was the importance of the big men, or centers, in the game. Centers like Bill Russell, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Hakeem Olajuwon were dominant forces on both ends of the court, anchoring their team's defenses and providing scoring in the paint. The game was often played inside out, with teams looking to establish dominance in the paint before taking outside shots. However, in recent years, there has been a shift towards a faster-paced, more offense-oriented style of play. Teams now prioritize three-point shooting and fast breaks, leading to higher scoring games. This shift can be attributed to several factors, including rule changes that have made it easier for teams to score and the influence of analytics, which have shown the value of three-point shooting. The rise of small ball, where teams play smaller, more agile lineups to increase pace and spacing, has also contributed to this shift. Teams are now more willing to sacrifice size for speed and shooting, leading to a more up-tempo style of play. While this style of play has its benefits, such as creating more exciting, high-scoring games, some fans argue that it lacks the nuance and intensity of the past. They believe that the emphasis on offense has come at the expense of defense and strategic play, leading to a less compelling product, especially in the playoffs. Before we move forwards, take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Well, rivalries have always been a significant driver of excitement in sports, and the NBA is no exception. 
One of the defining features of the NBA's past was the intense rivalries that developed between teams. But now, the frequent player movement, especially with stars joining forces to create super teams, has diminished the traditional rivalries. As a result, some fans feel that the current playoffs lack the emotional stakes and intensity that characterized the past. Another reason that made NBA boring is emotional officiating in the league that ruins the game's flow and impacts the outcome. Players receive technical fouls for expressing frustration over clear mistakes by refs, which can change the game's dynamics. While most refs are fair and try hard, a few ruin the experience for players and fans. Due to this, the NBA is losing its essence, and the refs should face real consequences for their mistakes. Next reason is flopping, which has become a widespread issue in the NBA, contrasting with its more occasional and sometimes even comedic presence in the past. Players like Vlade Divac were known for their flopping, but it was viewed more as an individual quirk rather than a pervasive tactic. Nowadays, however, flopping has become a common sight in almost every game, with players from various teams engaging in it. The prevalence of flopping has reached a point where it's negatively impacting the viewing experience. Fans tuning into games, including high-profile matchups like the Western Conference Finals, are often treated to what seems like a flop-off between star players. This trend has made watching NBA games frustrating for many, as the constant exaggeration of contact can be seen as an attempt to deceive the referees and gain an advantage. The regular NBA season has indeed faced criticism for its diminishing importance, largely due to the introduction of the play-in tournament, increased instances of tanking, and the rise of load management strategies. Players have openly acknowledged prioritizing the playoffs, leading to a perception that the 82-game schedule lacks significance for many teams. The play-in tournament has significantly expanded the playoff field, with 20 out of 30 teams having a realistic shot, reducing the urgency of the regular season. Tanking, where teams strategically lose games to improve draft positions, has also eroded the competitive spirit of regular season matchups. Additionally, NBA arena atmospheres have been called into question, often criticized for lacking the electric atmosphere seen in European leagues. <laughs> Comparisons between NBA and EuroLeague arenas reveal a stark contrast with European venues known for their passionate and lively crowds, creating a more engaging experience for fans. These factors have collectively contributed to a perception that the NBA regular season has lost some of its allure and competitive edge. Also, many fans and players find the current style of play exciting and entertaining. The pace of the game has increased, leading to more scoring and highlight real plays. Players like Curry, Damian Lillard, and James Harden have become beloved for their ability to hit shots from long range, adding a new dimension to the game. Well, we can say that basketball, like all sports, is constantly evolving. While some may lament the perceived loss of diversity in playing styles, others appreciate the skill and excitement that the current style of play brings. As long as the game continues to captivate audiences and inspire players, it can be argued that the NBA is in a good place, even if it may not align with the preferences of certain coaches or fans. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you in the next video.